The Nintendo Switch seems to have a magical power of making me excited for playing games I've already played, and the trend continues with EA's latest Switch title, a re-release of Burnout Paradise, the open world racer which was a big hit for EA back in the day. This version is based off the remastered edition that was released on the PS4 and Xbox One way back in 2018, which included all the DLC, spruced up graphics, and 60 FPS. But does the uh, jump to Switch make this port well worth revisiting Paradise City for? Let's find out. Set in Paradise City, you're a new driver and you're here to prove yourself in various different activities to boost up your rep. The whole aim of the game is for you to complete all the activities to get the Platinum Driver's License. If you're here for the story, alas there isn't any, and to be honest there needn't be. You're here for the need, a need for speed, and driving very fast cars. Being let loose in Paradise City, it's a pretty big open world full of city streets, industrial areas and country roads to make for plenty of variety. It isn't just roads to go through as there's plenty of secret areas to find, shortcuts and collectibles to nab to extend your enjoyment with the game. When starting out you'll probably struggle to know where to go but once you play for a little while you'll know the map like the back of your hand. As for the activities to do, there's a hefty selection of things to do throughout your stay in Paradise City. We have your bog standard races which give you a start and finishing point and how you get there is up to you as long as you're in first place. There's a marked van where you have to get from A to B whilst loads of cars attempt to wreck your car. Stunt runs where you have a certain amount of time to perform loads of stunts. The more stunts you do, the more points you get. To Road Rage which sees you having to wreck so many cars in a lot of time. There's a few more other events types here but they all boil down to driving really fast and wrecking cars and yes, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Being a remaster, the game does include all the game's previously released DLC which adds a hefty chunk of new things to do, from new challenges and activities to test your skills, to new cars, some of which are based on popular IPs like Kit from Knight Rider and the DeLorean from Back to the Future. There's even motorbikes as well which is pretty cool. We also have a whole new area called Big Surf Island which houses a load of new activities to partake in and secrets to find. The game also includes online multiplayer which allows players to play and explore the open world together and complete in the game's many different activities. There's a lot of fun to be had by inviting a friend or a stranger to play the game together and for the most part it does connect fairly quickly. With up to 8 players populating a world things can get quite hectic and it proves to be a blast. Presentation time now, and considering this is a Switch port, you may be wondering if the port to Nintendo's hybrid console has resulted in any cutbacks to the graphics. And I'm happy to say that the game is actually very close to the PS4 version, with some of the visual effects that the remastered introduce included here. Though there are some rough edges here and there, you'll be going too fast to notice. Overall, they've done a really top job here with the graphics. But the most important thing about the game is the elusive rock solid 60fps the original and the remaster is so well known for, and thankfully on the Switch it's still here. Yes, the game runs at 60fps pretty much all the time, only with a slight drop in a few busy areas, but apart from that it's 60fps all the way through, which is incredibly impressive that the game can match the graphics and the performance of the PS4 version, so colour me impress. On to the audio now, and Burnout Paradise has always had an awesome soundtrack back in the day, and still after all these years it's great and actually quite memorable. From the opening moments when you start the game with Guns N' Roses' iconic track Paradise City belting out your speakers. The soundtrack does feel very mid noughties with tracks like Avril Lavigne Girlfriend, which may not be to your taste, but for every girlfriend we have the utterly brilliant Stand and Deliver from Adam Ant, and Faith No More by Epic which more than make up for it. Before I wrap up this review, I need to talk about the game's pricing. I don't normally moan about the pricing of games that much, but I do know back in the day when the Switch launched, games were expensive, but that trend seemed to have died down quite a bit. But Burnout Paradise has come back with it and took the biscuit for it for how expensive this game is. The game is around 45 to 50 quid, which is astonishingly greedy. More so when you think well, when the game launched on the PS4 and Xbox One back in 2018, it was only about 30 quid. I know development is expensive and the like, but really this game should have been marked up as 30 quid, which I think is quite a fair price. 
Conclusion time now, and it's great to see a Burnout title on the Switch, and Paradise is a perfect fit for the console, delivering a blistering, enjoyable open-world racing game filled to the brim with cars, events and secrets to deliver one of the best races on Switch, including all the game's previously released DLC and having a rockin' and iconic license soundtrack to make for a very memorable experience. Technically, the game looks, runs and plays great, and it does run at that elusive 60 FPS, which is the most important thing. It's just a shame that the game is so expensive for an old remaster of an even older game. So with that, I'm giving Burnout Paradise on the Switch an 8 out of 10 with the title of Great. As always, thank you for watching my review, like, rate and subscribe, and until next time, happy gaming. Bye.